hey guys it's Daps here welcome to my youtube channel i am super excited as usual about bringing another video to you and in this video i want to show you in simple easy steps how you can use the ht track uh, software for you to download any website clone any website out there and then edit that website and have that website live on your server so if this is exactly what you are looking at then let's get started into these tutorials immediately before we jump straight into this tutorial if you are watching my video for the very first time you are welcome i am dabs i upload videos every now and then around wordpress i show people the things that work the things that do not work i make people look like a pro even if they're a non-tech so if you're into wordpress you may want to consider subscribing to this youtube channel hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out any videos from me I expect that you have HT Track software installed on your PC already, but if you, in case you don't have it, I will show you exactly how to download it. And if you have it, you can you can skip this step, and that should take you to my video description for you to be able to see timestamps to move around this video appropriately. So if you open your browser like I have on my screen here, you can just type HT Track into uh, your browser. And you have this option here for download so you can just go down there immediately so that will open up uh, this uh, download page where you can easily download this software based on the kind of machine you're using so if you come down here the first one is you can see windows windows uh, 2000 to windows 10 and above uh, you can just easily come here and hit this button it will download but what they recommend according to the website here is for you to download this one that Start from Windows Vista to Windows 10 and it's for 64 bit. Most laptops will fit into this, so you can easily eat this and download this. But in case you eat this right now, for example, and you don't have this downloading into your system, you haven't had here. I can easily just close this. What you should do right now is just hit this alternate site uh, button. This should be able to download the software into your computer. So you can see the first one worked so i already have this software already so i'll just close this the next thing you have to do is just install this software on your system just like every other software just open it run it and then follow the prompt and you should have your software ready in some few seconds if you run this software and you install it it should open up as something just like you can see on my screen here so this is exactly what you should have so that's it we already have HT track website copier installed so what we want to do right now is for us to see how we can use this to clone any website out there so for the sake of this tutorial i have a website i might just want us to clone so i can just do all right so just on my screen right now here is a demo website i installed on this domain mycbmastery.com so you can see this uh, website is here a very beautiful website so i want us to use this software to clone this website so let's do this in super easy step so i can just copy this url here I open up this software and then i can just hit the next button so that's what you have to do here hit next and the first thing you have to do here is to give this project a name i can just say cb clone and you can give the category in case you want to do so many things but for me i really don't bother about things like that so you will see uh, the part where you want this uh, uh, this clone to go. So you can see mine is in my document. You can hit this and go to whatever part of your computer uh, you want your copier, you want uh, to clone your website to. So you may want to put it into downloads. Depending on what works for you, that's fine by you. But I will leave this as is. So once you are done with this, you can just come to next and then you have some options here so if you come to this first uh, colon here if you click this you see that you have quite a number of options you can download websites you can get separated files you can download all sites and pages in case you have a page that have multiple websites you can do quite a number of things you can even update existing download and that's quite fantastic but for the sake of this tutorial we just want to download a website once we choose the option that we want here the action that we want we can come down here and hit this button to add the url or just 
manually paste it into this place since we already copied our website url in case you want to scrape and download multiple websites you can put them into a txt file and then you have your url list and then you upload that through this place you have some options here as well uh, like maybe setting a proxy for your download so that you are downloading your website from different proxies but that's not really necessary but you can play around it if it's something that you want you can do quite a number of things here browser id scan rows limit but for the purpose of this example i think we'll just leave this as is and then once we are done we can just come to the next button here if you know you want to maybe download the website and website is heavy and you want to go to bed you can just instruct ht track to shut down this pc when it is done or just disconnect uh completely shut down this terminal once the script is done so depending on what you want to do really that's pretty much up to you but for the purpose of this example we'll leave this open because we'll be here together so now let's just come down here you can also just want to save this setting and you do not want to download now so that once you are done maybe later you can then come back with these settings for you to now download the website for the purpose of this example as usual we want to download our website now so let's just hit the finish button and as you can see uh this software is now scraping this website and is downloading this website file so depending on how heavy this website you are trying to download or clone is it may take some time so you want to give this time for it to finish but if it is a very super light website in some few minutes in this case this should be done so let's give this some time let me close my camera so let me just grab a drink or something and then let me leave my screen open so that we can see this process okay fantastic uh this uh process is done and you can see uh mirroring operation complete click exit to quit uh win ht track see log files to see if everything is okay so you can view this log file and now that this is done we can just browse mirrored website so this now opened up uh this website for me in my local browser so you can see file uh, user document so you can see this url is directly in my computer so now i have this live website i have it right now on my local computer but so that's everything that is to it right now uh i have this website live for offline viewing i can check i can view around but that's it so now we may want to make some edits and then have this website live on our server so how do we do that for example we have a logo here we would like to maybe change we have a text here we want to change we just want to do random changes around our website so how do we do that so you can even see on our browser here is saying mycbmastery.com because that's the title for the website and it should uh, change because we now want to host this website on a different domain entirely i would love to host this website on a domain called dabsbrook.com that's one of the domain i have so for example so now how do we change that uh, so let's just uh come back to our files let's do this manual editing first and then try to upload so let's see how we can change that so what we have to do right now is for us to drag uh the uh clone files for example in my case here i have cb clone here in my document folder so i have uh this page here and also my cbmastery.com if i open this this is the website we just cloned so our home page here is our index page always note that that your home page is always your index index.html so i would just love to open this but i will want to open this with a notepad is okay you may need a notepad if you have a notepad plus plus whatever you have is okay but the default notepad is good enough for us to see the code of this website so you can see this is our website here let me open this more a little so that i uh, can have that here so now you can see this is a page here. this is our website here so you can see title is mycbmastery.com so you can see so this is where we need to change that so what i can just do right now is to copy this title for example i can just copy this i can do Control f 
I'm using Windows, Ctrl F is good. But if you're using Mac, maybe Command F will do that magic for you. So as uh, you can see, uh, my, my cbmario.com is here. So what I can just do is do Ctrl H and then I can then replace this text with whatever I want. So I can just now do dabsbrook.com. So I can hit uh, replace or I can just do replace all for it to uh, replace every of the text on this page that has my cbmastery.com. So I can just do replace all. So that's it. Uh, I can then close this. So you can see I now have Dabs Brook here. And if you, if you come down here again, I have Dabs Brook, Dabs Brook. So you can see every of the my cb mastery on this website is gone so what i can just do right now is for me to hit the file button here and then save this i can do ctrl s whatever uh, works for you and then i can close this so now that we have made the changes to this now let's open this now with uh my opera browser and then I have this. So you can see now I have Dabs Brook here as against this one that is CB Mastery. So if I refresh this right now, uh, it is now Dabs Brook. So that's exactly how to change text. So you can go all there, change all the text, build the dream vision. Just go there, go to the page uh, that this is. So you can see now this is in our index.html page. Go there, type this. Uh, whatever text you want to change and then replace it. So that's exactly how to change this with HTML. In case you want something more advanced, you want like a backend that you can log into and then you can make changes to your website, publish new pages, just like a WordPress website, then you need to check other tutorials I have around copying or cloning any website online and then converting them to WordPress. I will leave a link in the video description for you to see uh, several tutorials I have in that cloning playlist that would help you do that. So that's something you want to check. So in case you try because of the complexity of the website that you want to maybe clone or convert, maybe it's an even bulky website, 50 pages, 100 pages, and you and uh, you are not able to convert them to WordPress, you can maybe send me a note, you can send me an email. My email is in the video description. You can hire me to clone that website for you. That's another service i can do for you so either way you already have uh, a resource to help you convert this website and then clone it to wordpress so that you can have a custom dash end where you can do things yourself so that's exactly how to make changes around here so for example let's say we want to change our logo for example this logo says urban nest so what we are going to do right now is for us to right click this image and then we can just say open this image in a new tab uh, so once we go to that tab you can see this is the image here and this image here that we're not opening it because we want to see the image we are opening it because we want to see the path to that image so that we can change that image uh, so you can just see this is the path cb mastery whippy content upload 2021 logo urban so now this is the path to getting this image. So now let's go back and let's see how we can change this image to another image of our choice. So let's come back here and then let's come to WP content as we can see there. Let's come to uploads. Let's come to 2021, 11. And then we are looking for the logo file, and this is the logo file. So what we can do right now is for us to change this logo and bring in, in another logo. So I can just come to my, maybe my downloads, for example. Let me look for any random logo. For example, let's say I want to use this logo. Uh, I can then uh, copy this logo. And then I can just go back and then I can paste this logo here. All right, so you can see uh, that we have a new logo here and the logo we want to change is logo urban.nest. So I would right click this 
I will rename this logo here. I would copy this and then I can just put in front of this. I can just say iPhone old and I'll hit enter. And then I can come down here and then I would rename this logo and then I'll paste the formal uh, title there and I'll hit enter. So we already have this logo replacing this logo. And that's it. What's everything we need to do now? Uh, we can come back to our clone and then let's come back here and let's refresh this. So you can see, I already have this logo changed. So this is exactly how you can change your logo, make necessary details, make necessary corrections, uh, go all around, change all the text, change images. Uh, once you do all of that, the next thing we want to do right now is for us to see how we can make this website live. I want to believe you already have an hosting account. I will be using hosting girl for the purpose of this tutorial in case you don't have one that you want to use. I would recommend that you consider using Hostinga. If you check the video description, you should see a link to Hostinga and also see my coupon code. That link is an affiliate link. If you buy through my link, I'll get a certain commission, uh, but you'll be qualified to have 75% off. And also my coupon code will give you another extra 3% off. So that's a win-win for you. I will appreciate the support if you can do that. And by the way, Hostinga also will give you a free domain. So it means you don't need to worry about registering a domain name. You get a free one for one here. So that's a motivation for you to invest in Hostinga today. The best budget-friendly hosting out there. I have several tutorials around Hostinga. I have a playlist too around Hostinga teaching you how to get things on around Hostinga. So I believe you have enough resources to pull all of these things through. You won't have a problem. In case you have an Austin account you want to use, that's pretty much fine as well. So let's continue the tutorial. It's the same process, just replicate the same thing I would do on Ostinga on your Austin account. So right now I want to open up Ostinga. And right here I have my Ostinga account here, so I can just go to my preferred plan to manage. And then this is the website that I just uh, cloned my CB Mastery. I have another domain here called dabsbrook.com that I would love to migrate this website to. Okay, so but before we do anything, let's check dabsbrook.com and let's see what we have. So if I come down here and type dabsbrook.com and then enter, you can see forbidden, there's nothing on this domain. So let's come back here and then let's locate our file manager and that's right here at the file folder here. If I open this up, I have my file manager here. Whatever uh, C panel you are using, just type in uh, file manager into the search. You should be able to find it. Then I want to access the files for dabsgroup.com. So and then I'll open up my public underscore HTML so you can see this is empty. So I'll come back here to my cloned uh, website. So I have my cbmastery.com here. In this folder here is where we have all the files that we just make edits to. So we can just come back and then I can just zip this file. I can just uh, send to compressed zip. I have this compressed. So this is now ready to be uploaded to our uh, uh, hosting account so i need to drag this down here and then let me just simple drag this into my public underscore html so beneath here you can see uploading one file so i'll open this up so you can see i have this uploading to a server In case you have a website files that is quite very heavy maybe the site you are trying to upload is bulky i will advise you upload this directly into your hosting it may delay, it may lag, and it may eventually get stored. I would advise that you go and create an FTP account and use an FTP client manager to upload your files directly into your hosting account. In case you don't know how that is done, I have a tutorial that will show you how to use an FTP client like FileZilla to upload your files directly into your hosting account. I will leave a link to that video in the video description so you can check that out if that's an option for you. But because this file is quite very light, we have a 5 MB size here. I have successfully uploaded this to my hosting account. So what I want to do right now is to call it this and then right click this and then I want to extract this file. And now I have to give a name from 
these files to be extracted to so i say dabs and i can hit the extract button so you can see i have this extracted right now dabs so if i open dabs up i will see my cbmastery.com if i open this up as well so i will see my website files right here so what i want to do right now to be able to display this because if i must display this site right now on dabsbook.com i will have to come to dabsbook.com slash dabs slash cbmastery.com before i can see this website and that's not what we want we want this website to display directly on dabsbook.com for the sake of this tutorial let me show you exactly what i'm saying so if i come now and i do slash dabs slash my cbmastery.com you can see we have our website live so that's the directory where that website is but that's not exactly what we want so let's come back here now and let's move this file now directly into our public html so that it can display directly on dabsbook.com so i'll just click this and i'll write out control a this or command a whatever the case is i'll right click and then i will move this so you can see that the directory is public underscore html slash tabs slash cb mastery so i'll come here i'll click this folder here for it to go up uh, maybe double click so you can see it has come to dabs i'll double click again for it to come to public underscore html and this is exactly what we want our files to be so i'll hit the move button so you can see that we have these files now directly in our public underscore html so our dabs folder now will be literally empty uh and cb mastery also literally empty so i would have to delete this because there's nothing that's useful for her. and that's it so our zip file as well you can delete this but you can leave this also for backup so whatever it is that works for you it's fine so now let's come back to dabsbook.com and then uh let me remove dabs and cb mastery and let's load dabsbook.com now this is loading uh this because it must have been cached into my browser so let me copy dabsbook.com and let me open a private window uh, where nothing has been cached so let's open this up and let's hit enter so you can see i have my website here that's exactly how super simple and easy it is for you to use the ht track uh, software to download any website online edit them make it your own and then upload it to a live website if this video has been super useful give me a thumbs up subscribe to see more videos from me and that's my time for this video i will see you in another video and until then have a nice time and stay safe